Hello and welcome to Bee Monster Laboratory where we review and explore anything related to STEM toys, STEM kits, circuits, and amateur robotics. Today I'm going to talk about this robot that I purchased off Amazon for ages 3 and up. It is a smart robot that responds to voice commands. It is touch sensitive, has touch sensors, and it plays cool and dynamic music. Oops. There we go. See what we got here. All right. This is um, smart robot concept design for robot toy. Okay. Smart robot steam. All right. So you can see that. This is the new robot. We'll see what it looks like out of the box here. Slide you out of here, it's upside down. Have a, uh, an option for a warranty, just like everything else. Gillow baby, thank you for your purchase. All right, we have an instruction booklet here. That obviously takes some batteries. Um, tells you what everything on it does here. We'll get to looking at this. Just want to see what it looks like right out of the package here. There we go. It's got the wheels down here. It's got a speaker right here so you can speak to it. Got the one off switch, one off switch right there. A T robot or T robot, what did it say? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like it records something here. So, all right, we'll see what this thing's all about. Looks pretty cool. Also, don't forget to put your batteries in before you. Um, start playing with it, obviously, or else you're not going to get anywhere. You just open it up like so. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. So apparently you pull that out, and it goes in like a cartridge. That could be confusing. And I need a uh, AAA. Got the batteries put in this little cartridge thing here. So we'll go ahead and slide that back in. Man, it's confusing. Well, I've had a chance to play around with this a little bit um, overnight. And uh, I gotta say, when I first opened it, I was kind of disappointed, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of grown on me. Um, I do like it. I think it's kind of a cool robot. Um, so, on the box, it says um, it's uh, human-machine interaction. Well, that is true because as you speak to it, it is uh, uh, processing commands and it speaks back to you. That's that's true. Touch sensitive is uh, the next thing on here, and it does have touch areas, um, touch sensors, one on top and in both ears. You can see there, and then there on top, and then that side there. Um, here it says dynamic music. I, I actually do enjoy the music. It's kind of cheesy, but uh, the music is kind of cool, as you'll see here in just a minute. What language is that? And uh, cool action. Uh, well, if you think rolling around and spinning in circles is uh, cool action, then I... <laughs> No failure here. This is a cool action. Um, that's all it does. Uh, so let's set this aside. Actually, the packaging looks pretty cool too. Um, I think it's a steam down here at the bottom. So let's put that aside and check out the robot. As I'm looking through the instructions, the most confusing thing to me, as you saw, 
earlier was where the battery compartment is. You actually have to unscrew that and then take the cartridge out. Um, and it's not all that apparent here, or maybe I'm just too simple of a person. I don't know. But anyway, um, that's where the battery compartment is. Uh, as I open it to the next page, page two, it tells you uh, each area of the robot. It tells you where the touch sensors are right here. And here's one touch sensor. There are two more touch sensors on each side of the head. And it says on the touch sensor, it sensor short press, which I guess just means tap. That would be a short press, right? I assume that these were written, these instructions were written in another language and maybe automatically translated over to English. So the grammar is not all that impressive, but uh, you can make sense of it. Um, it says robot language, music, and action uh, for short press or tap. Uh, so you get robot language, music, and action. Walk in a circle and sounds. Uh, robot sounds, B-O-P-O-P-O, with kiss sounds and go forward. And laughter sounds with go backward. So those are the options that you'll get. You'll get one of those options when you just tap the top of it, uh, the touch sensor. So when you long press or hold the sensor, touch sensor, you will enter into a voice recording mode where you can record up to eight seconds um, of recording and it'll speak back to you on here. Yesterday, while I was using this, the robot just shut down. It shut down. I didn't know how to bring it back. Of course, I didn't read through all the instructions. I was just working my way through it. So I'll have to test that out in just a second. I, it hasn't shut down on me today, but yesterday, if you use it for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, it will just shut down. So maybe if I tap the top, it'll come back to life. Uh, what I would do is just shut it off for a while and then come back and turn it on and no problem. So I have to check that out. That's the only issue that I've had with this thing. So I'm going to tap it. I'm going to hold it down. Hello. Hold on. Hello. It can record up to eight seconds. It can record up to eight seconds. When it records. When it records. When it records. My voice is higher. My voice is higher. Higher pitch. Higher pitch. And it records very fast. And it records very fast. Okay, let's. Okay. And then tap it twice. Okay, so. Twice. Once. That's tap, right? Is that the button? Or is that the button? It looks like that's the button. Oh, there we go. You gotta press it hard. Okay. You actually, I was just touching it like it was a sensor. You actually have to push it in. Now let's hold it again. One, two. Hello, this is recording number two. Push the button. Okay. Hello. This is a recording, I think. So that's the one recording. Two. This is the second one. Hello, I this believe. is recording number two. Okay. It would go to sleep and I couldn't wake it up because I didn't realize you have to actually press down. You have to press that in. I was just touching it like it was a sensor. So I'm pretty sure that's what that was all about. He does follow the commands really well. Um, it just takes some practice and some getting used to. I don't think I've had any, any problems with him uh, not following a command. 
the only problem I did have was him not waking up from his uh, his little slumber, and that's because I wasn't pressing this in. You have to press it in to get him to wake up. So um, overall, I, you know, I I've enjoyed this thing. So we'll put him on the floor and see see how he does. Why not? And we'll shout commands at him. That should be fun. So here it is on the floor. We'll just shout some commands at it. I'm further away than what they recommend. Uh, they recommend like one and a half to two foot distance. Right now he's dancing. Come here. Go back. Go back. Turn left. Turn right. I love you. I love you. Are, are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> I'm your sunshine. <laughs> okay. He's going to bite the dust singing a song here. Go back. Go back. There we go. This is like ice skating. No, oh, not really. Music. So there you go. It rolls around really well. It hasn't fallen over yet, but it's pretty cool that it's, its eyes light up different colors. And it's almost like ice skating to this music, I think. But anyway, so there it is. I think it's totally worth the money that you pay for it once you look at the instructions and get through all the confusing stuff. So there you have it. That is a demo. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up, by clicking the thumbs up. Also, share it with a friend and don't forget to follow. We'll see you next time.